You're not videoing, are you? Yeah, I'm videoing, Mark. Sorry. Just handheld thing at the minute. So, uh, yeah, what's the date today? 12th, 13th. I think it's the 13th. 14th, oh, lucky 13th. Lucky 13th. We're out fishing again. Sorry, it's been a long time since I did a vlog, but vlog, vlog, whatever you call it, vlog. Uh, but yeah, I've been busy and not had a chance to get out fishing, but uh, we're out today at a cart water. I'm not going to say where because it might be good and I might want to keep it a secret. <laughs> <laughs> we probably catch some naff all and then I'll tell you at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're out. Well, I'm out fishing for carp. I'm here with, as you can see, Mr. Davis, man here. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, over there, if you can see him, he's busy up, Mr. Mr. Smith. Can you see? Him? Oh, I can't see what you're looking at. Yeah, he's there somewhere. Oh, he is somewhere. But anyway, yeah. So uh, I think Roger's after whatever he can catch, basically, so I've got the hammer. Mark, you're after mainly carp, but you'll take a carp and then the tent, yeah. There. Yeah, I'm after the uh, mainly after the cart, but I'll, I'm quite happy to take a tent if it comes along, especially a good one. I'll uh, I'm not to tell you where we are, but I will just show you the water. Uh, let me just uh, bear with me. Uh, there we go, that's me set up, that's me peg. This is the water, and a lovely looking water it is, too. First time we've been here, isn't it? It is, we've never been here before. Well, um... What time do you say it is? About what? Five o'clock? Quarter five. Quarter five. I think we arrived here probably just before midday. I've been, uh, it's quite weird, just we've been finding spots and uh, baiting up and bringing up and doing all the things you do. So this is the first chance I've had to get the camera out and actually do a bit of filming. Uh, I'll try and do as much as I can. But yeah, that's the peg. Trying out a new bivvy I've got. I just wanted a cheap, simple, bog standard, smallish, fit anywhere, go anywhere, nice and light little bivvy, and that's what I got. I've got a Fox EOS, nice and cheap. I'm trying it out for the first time, and yeah, quite impressed. It's just a job, really. So we'll see how we go. We're here for 48 hours. Yeah, we've got 48 hours, so. Uh, we we'll believe in Thursday about dinner time. So yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes and uh, I'm going to get tidied up now. Mark's going to go and fetch some beer from the shop. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll catch up here. <coughs> well, when this stops my next bit comes on. So, rods are all out. It's uh, kind of a bit... I'm filming on my camera so I can't even tell what time it is. I'm guessing it must be six or six now. Uh, yeah, and uh, time for a bit of dinner, me thinks. So, what's on the menu, you're all asking? This is what we got tonight. Can you see that? It's a stir fry. Chinese chicken. So let's see how we get on with this. I uh, haven't eaten. I haven't actually eaten since this morning. I uh, had an omelette for my breakfast. But I've not had anything since, so uh, I'm well ready for this. So what this is like. There are the instructions. Oh, 
not. Uh, got a bit of a dilemma. I'm the only one who's bought any bears, and I've only got four cans. Because we didn't uh, know what to expect, we've not been here before. We uh, not always bought too much stuff because we didn't know if we'd have to bow stuff around or what what to do, or how it would be. So uh, I'm the only one who's bought any beer. I think there might be a shop nearby. And I think Roger might be going to have a look and see if he can get a few bottles. But if not, it'll be one can each, and that'll be it. But uh, still, worst things happen. See. All right. I'm going to cook my tea, I'll show you when it's cooked, but uh, I'll just stop you for now. See when it's cooked. There we go. Chinese chicken for one. How's that looking? Yeah, get a bit closer. Yeah, have a smell. Have a smell, have a smell of that. We might be fishing, but no one's going hungry. Mm -mm. I'm going to eat that all up. Let's bring you a bit closer. Not better. Can you hear me a bit better, a bit closer? I hope so. So, happy tea. Again, I don't know what time it is. I think it's actually it's about 10 past 7. Uh, and uh, yeah, no fish yet, no action, no signs of anything. It has been not now. The wind's picked up. There's a bit of a ripple on the water now, but uh, uh, let's just, let me just alter you a little bit. So yeah. Uh, there's a bit of a ripple on the water now, so you can't see a lot, but uh, this afternoon there's quite a few patches round about fish bubbling and fizzing. Definitely signs of feeding fish. Not more than one area, just sporadic little bits, pockets here and there. I don't think there's a lot of fish in the area. I'm not sure it's a particularly high density stocked lake, to be honest. But uh, yeah, they seem to have quietened down now. I'll like say it's about 7 o'clock. There were a few carp crashing. I see, I see a couple, if not. Yeah, at least two or three anyway. Crashing around a big weed bed that's out in front of me and to my left. But that is alright. Uh, I'm fishing at 10 and a half wraps. And they were good, probably 150, 170 yards out from me, so. Um, but yeah, they're not going to stay in the weed all night. They'll they should start migrating out of the weed now. Now the sun's gone down and the weed, instead of taking oxygen in, start, sorry, instead of releasing the oxygen like they do during the day, it'll all start taking it in during the night. So they turn out to draw the fish out and bring them out of the weed. So, yeah, yeah. it's looking quiet, but I'm still optimistic and promising it's still first night. Uh, chicken was nice, very nice. That didn't take uh, take much game down. And uh, they're the two lads on either side of me. They've not had anything. Um, I think Roger had a bite. He's method feeding, basically for anything he can catch. He's not fussed what he catches. He just wants to get a bite, which is fair enough. He's fishing method feeders with either worm or maggot. I think he had a bite, or could have been a bite, could have been a liner, he's not sure. But he's just gone there, to see if he can find a shop. Um, I thought he just wanted to go to the shop to get some beer, because he ain't got any, Mark didn't bring any, and I'm the only one with any beer. I've already got four cans there for me. So he's gone to see if he can get uh, some beer, that's why I thought he was going, but it turns out, Roger being Roger, as always, He's forgotten something. <laughs> no big surprise there. Um, yeah, this time he's forgotten his cup. I think he's forgotten a cup before, to be fair. I'm sure he's done it before, but he, 
he had to have a pot noodle when he first got here. So he could eat the pot noodle, wash the pot out, and so he could use the pot as a cup. But if he can get himself a proper cup, I think he will. So yeah, so it's nice to know some things don't change. There's a lot of nits and nits, what they call, yeah. There's little gnats about, a lot of them about. You probably can't see them, obviously, because there's many things swarming about. Uh, so yeah, so I just thought I'd uh, tell you I'm fishing as well. I'll just uh, I'll spin you around and show you the rods. One after three, one, two, three. And there's the rods. As you can see, doing nothing. But uh, the left hand rod, that's out and slightly to my left. That's in a bit of a bit of a bowl, a bit of a bowl I found. None of the water is on this end is very deep. Uh, I think about five foot two, five foot four is the deepest I can find. That bowl, and I say it's uh, it's about five foot two there, and that's uh, just three and a half wraps. So you can tell it's not far. About three and a half, I don't. Um, but it's a bowl. It's a definite feature. Put it like that. It's not far out. So I've got to just popped a little PVA bag in there. And then the other two rods, they're both fishing at about ten and a half wraps. And there's uh, like a like a bit of a ridge that goes along the length of the bank, apparently, according to the lady who runs the fishing here. And uh, I use my uh, my deeper chirp. Did a bit of casting about with that for. A, Good 40 minutes when I first got here. And so that's probably about the width of a, uh, probably about the width of a road if you can imagine going along the length. And although it comes up shallow on this this uh, ledge, whatever you want to call it, it's probably about three and a half to four foot deep there. Four foot at the deepest. And although it's a bit slightly shallow, it's actually really a lot less weed. A lot of the weed on the bottom is quite high, quite thick, dense weed, whereas on this shelf, even though it's high up in the water, you'd think it'd be um, thicker and denser. It's not, it's actually quite low and quite shallow. It's quite nice to, looks quite nice to fish on top of. So I've got two rods out on that with uh, probably about six or seven spums of bait over each. Both fishing, uh, fishing them both with a multi-rig sort of fished with a lead clip system but with a, a quite a long probably 12 inch or 10 inch probably about 10 inch fluorocarbon boom I've got one they're both on pop-ups I think they're both 15 mil pop-ups one is a what is it uh, sticky baits krill pop-up and the other one is a Pacific Tuna pop-up. Um, and the close-in PVA bag, I think that's got a pink Northern Waff, uh, Northern Special in it. So yeah, so that's how we're fishing. So that's what the crack is, that's what we're doing. Uh, I've stuck the rods out. I don't think the, I think the last rod went out probably about four o'clock. I'm not going to bring them in. I'm going to leave them out there. There's plenty of bait there. I've had no indications or liners or anything. There's nothing suggests that the bait's been eating what's out there. Uh, I don't see the point of disturbing what I'd consider a good bite time for most waters. So I'm just going to leave them out there for the night. See what happens. Um, Different waters they have a bite time, the fish feed at different times. Some are night, night, uh, best at night, some are best in the day, morning, afternoon, it depends. It's, it's the first time here, we don't know how the water fish is, we don't know what the baits, the best baits, well, going baits, you know, what's successful, what's not. We don't know if you're better off boiling or particle or naturals or what you know what I mean. So we're, it's the first time we're learning, and we will learn and we'll. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure, but uh, yeah, this is your 
approach. It's got to be a boiling approach, basically boiling pellet approach. While I'm here, this oh, I was going to say today that we're we're actually here fishing for 48 hours. So we got here dinner time today, Tuesday, and we'll be going about dinner time Thursday. So, so yeah, and that's pretty much what the crack is. I can't speak for the other lads. I'm not quite sure. Oh, well, I told you about Roger. He's on the method feeders. Um, I think Mark's fishing. I know he's fishing a couple of. He's fishing at least a couple of helicopter rigs, if not three rods on helicopter rigs, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think he's fishing a Pacific tuna boilers. But I know, I know, I'm pretty sure he's got at least two, if not three rods out on helicopter rigs. So, yeah, and he's doing pretty much similar to sort of what I've done. He's in a, he's in a corner swim. Um, in fact, actually, why don't we go and find him? Follow me. Let's turn him. Let's go see what he's doing. Can you see where he is here? Oh, he's talking. I think he's on the phone. No, so <laughs> he's already talking to somebody. So uh, yeah, I don't want to interrupt his phone call. I don't want to use it up on it. So we'll uh, we'll leave Mark be for now. I wish you could see these bloody things. Nuts. Gosh, with pain. Yeah, so we'll catch up with Mark probably later on. If Roger gets some beers, we'll probably have a sit together and. Have a beer together. We'll probably have a catch up there, and we'll we put the camera on, so you'll uh, yeah you'll see and hear what we do. All right, I'll see you in one. Roger's back. Let's go see if we got any beer. By the way, they're not nuts, are they? The midges. Fucking... No, the midges nuts. I don't know. The fucking loads of bloody things. Oh, that's safe, not that, is it? Hey, go in! Hey, go in! He ain't got the beer, he can go. How did you find a shop? Look at this! Yeah. Oh my word! And look at all the little backs they break up. As soon as you fucking touch them, they just. Oh, well, the cams fell out. I had to go and uh, get the bag out of the car. You managed to get yourself cooked? No. No. What sort of shot was it? Alondis. Alondis? Alright. Well, is it far? <laughs> what? Is it far? No, it's about half a mile. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to park my car up anyway. Okay, okay, mate. Catch you in a bit. Don't <laughs> be like that. Here he is. Just, oh. just painting the delivery man. One is passing hands, I think Roger might have picked him up from drugs as well. I'll bring him around in a bit. You won't see them again, Rog. They all fell out of the bloody. Oh, did it? I'll bring your bag back. You're going to let Roger have some. I'm not letting you have any. I've got some, mate. I've got some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of wife beater. Bit of wife beater, can't beat it. I can, say, I can say that because I know Claire don't watch these. Yeah, I'm on there. Oh, Christy. How many has he got? Mm. Oh, nice and cold, I must admit. Mm. It'd be rude not to, eight. wouldn't it? Got eight. Eight. Well, I'll drink mine, you chair of them, and he's got four each. I've got four, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Hey? Eh? They're nice and cold. Yeah. Oh, I'm quite jealous. Oh, sure you don't want to swap one? Do you want to swap one? Do you want a Colesberg? Eh? Do you want to swap a Colesberg? Oh, shit. Colesberg? Oh, don't bother then. <laughs> you, you drink your wife's beans, I'll drink the Colesberg, I don't mind.
How many are you having? You're not having room for Rod? Hey. You've got eight cans each, or right, right between you? I don't know, you didn't buy any for yourself, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking one up. <laughs> He's got eight. How many cans did he buy? Eight. Oh. I thought you were going to take the lot. Hey? I thought you were going to take the lot for a minute. Oh. I know what you like when it comes to beer, Mark. It's mine. <laughs> My beer. Right. I'll go get a can and I'll come and... Are you going to go and sit with him and have a I'll come up beer? Here. Bring yeah. a chair with you. Yeah, make sure you're... Make sure you're all, I'm all alarmed up. We are leaving the rods out, but we are very close together. The swims are literally 30 foot apart, all of them. So uh, and we've all got uh, receivers for our alarms, so... In fact, I'm probably, yeah, probably not even 30 foot away from Rod to swim. Right, just stop you for a minute and then you can join us. It's what the hat. Come in a bit closer, Mark. No, I'm all right here. Yeah, but I can't get your voice, I can't hear you then. I know you're not bothered, but I am. Come on, join in, Mark. Come on, get up. Oh. It makes it difficult for me editing with the sound. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Hey, oh, is that me? Just get sat down, you've screamed and run. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All the best. Well done, Rog. Cheers. Well done. I noticed you two have got big cans as well. <sighs> We're bigger in everything. <coughs> around the leg for it. Is that part? <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> I don't know how to do it more. <coughs> All the subscribers, cheers. <laughs> Just me then. <sighs> this is life, you don't know what you're missing. Just missing a few fish at the moment, mate. Just missing a few fish. But they'll come. We won't be here long, have we? So. Oh, you can never catch anything on the first day. No. Or the second either. day. Or the last day. Or the third day. Don't <laughs> <laughs> come. Don't come. They were definitely showing. There's definitely signs of fish about early what this afternoon. Oh, yeah. All the patches are fizzing and bubbling. Yeah. Oh. Keep picking up. No, they keep looking, see if we're still there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out in the breed of the <coughs> I thought of him and I bloody cast. I might have cast out on one of them rods earlier on, though. Just sort of what's laying in, just really all changing up. A wee, wee, wee. <laughs> it started falling back. Yeah, I was here, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing. No. We're not casting them back out, Rog. No. <laughs> you <laughs> sat here waiting for the bike. We're not. <laughs> uh. <sighs> You'd really do better if we were in the water. You're going to leave me overnight. He's going to yes. rest the swim. He's had that much action. I'll tell you what, there's another lake over there. Isn't there? You've got to yes. that road, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I don't know. Massive lake. Eh? It's quite a massive lake. Yeah. Big and what? Big and this? It looks, it looks it. I've seen it's it on the maps and I looked at this on Google Maps, but I'm not sure what water it is or whose it is. Or... Mm -hmm. so, there's no shop in that village up there. There isn't. Yeah, you can straight up the road there. So you go around the bend, you go straight across. Oh, yeah. It's sort of road about. I think that's a quarter of a mile. Did they have a cup? No, 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 no cups. Bloody hell, really. Oh well. The Londis supermarket, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, it was the Londis supermarket.
Oh, I'll cut you out, Rod, sorry. I don't think you'll be bothered. I don't think Rod's <laughs> would be too fussed about that, no. Yeah. Forget uh, Mortimer and White House, this is where the real action is. This is where the real comedy is. Where's Ted? Ted? <coughs> I think Roger's got him out for dead bait. <laughs> You think we'll get to say it? And away. Only when we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be all right. Yeah. Tomorrow should be a good day. Is it in the water? I think we might go by to two tonight. Quite hopeful. If we leave them out. Yeah, yeah. we'll leave them out, yeah. They'll all be coming out that weed, them big patches of weed, especially that one over there. They will be, like I said before, coming out. They don't stop in the weed at night. They'll be coming out, foraging and hopefully feeding, looking about and yeah. come across more bait. Of course. <coughs> I'm not expecting to get a lot of bites or catch that much with me. I'd be happy if just go tent. The bite. Just bite the fish. Just the fish. fish. I'll be able to move in the tent, especially if it's an eight or nine pounder. Well, yeah, yeah. that would definitely. Uh, what was that one that came out? Ten. They've come out over double ten figures, really. Yeah. Ten, eleven. Birds. Birds. I've seen one, some old boy fished for longer than <coughs> a tension seed or something. He fished for years for it and he eventually caught it at eleven pound, eleven twelve, something like that, I think it was. Oh, yeah. Big fish. Mm, or seven pound hook. So, yeah, some good ones in it. What's your best tench, Mark? 611. 611. That's not very big, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> not right. <laughs> mm. What's yours? Huh? What's yours? It's a little bit bigger than yours. 74. <laughs> 74. Seven yeah. Both at the same place. Yeah, they were actually, yeah. <coughs> Well, what's yours then? 715. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit bigger than yours. So it might be. Yeah, one ounce away from an eight pounder, which was yeah. really good, and then really disappointed. You said, how you look at it? Yeah, half full grass, half empty. But, yeah. That was a good day that day, if I remember right. I had about three, had about three or four out. Yeah. Mm. Unless that was the next session we had afterwards. We had, had a couple of good days. I can't remember the <coughs> last year. A couple, couple of good days. To make up for the ten years I'd caught that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, cracked it at last, Rog. I cracked it. Cracked the code. <coughs> The amount of people that sort of walk by tell you that they used to fish it and mm. you know over the over the years they've probably caught about six fish. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Fishing it thirty years, I've had six fish and blue, what? Yeah. Yeah. That's not this place by the way, that's a different place we're talking about. Mm. Bloody midges. Other midges or gnats. Gnats, mate. Gnats. They are gnats. Yeah. They're paying the off wherever they are. Oh. Good thing about a bit of breeze, isn't it? Blowing the fuckers away. Yeah. No, you can't swear, Rod. Oh, don't be sorry, Trevor. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He'll, do, he'll do, it, do away with it all in the editing, Rod, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be beep, 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 yeah. beep, beep. <laughs> that foul mouth old tosser. <laughs> What time is it anyway? We've got a rough guess, I seven o'clock. Yeah. Twenty past seven. Twenty past. Yeah, between quarter past and quarter. That could be dark at eight o'clock, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> well, with this cloud. Yeah. 
Tops go back and forward soon, don't they? Is it, is it? No, it's next month, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. goes. Nice forward, step back in it. It's a nice Saturday in the month, isn't it? Yeah. So, well, good Spring week. forwards, all back. Yeah, it's all back. back. Yeah. March forward, step Spring, back. yeah, spring forward. Yeah, all back. Well, changing March and September. <coughs> yeah, we're, we're doing that, right? <coughs> oh, yeah. Just not even mid September yet, and it uh, looks Maybe. like it'll be dark by eight o'clock. Mm. Probably on this video, it's not looking so bad, but it is, uh, yeah, it's not dark, but it's just quite yeah, working out. Like that, but, mm. eh? it's spotlights out. <laughs> And have to switch it off then. Eh? Oh, <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> <clears throat> right, I don't want to bore you all with uh, mumblings and grumblings, so you've had a bit, you've had your fill, I'm sure. So uh, I'm going to stop the video here, and uh, hopefully, the next time the camera comes back out or comes back on, we'll have a fish. It'll be with a big goal. Yeah. We'll see. Catch you soon. This is posh in the morning, I think. This is posh in the morning, I think. I don't know if this is. <laughs> I don't know uh, how this is going to come out. I just thought I'd show you the lovely sunset we're getting. Oh, that's Roger beeping. Yeah, very pretty. Yeah, it's definitely not all about the fishing. For me and to the lads I'm with, I know for sure, it ain't just about catching or fishing, it's, it's being here. Yeah, Seeing things like that, really cracking fish, sunsets. <laughs> Lovely scenery, it's not all about fishing, cause that's what we would say, because we don't catch any, but... You do spoil things, Mark. I'm going to get him to watch him. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Catch him with I'm saying, what a sunset. It's been horrible water, you can't quite see something. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Simply stunning. There it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Till you get to this paddock. What, Jeff? Nothing, mate. Oh. He's had a beer, so this might take a while. And he's trying to hook a worm. They're struggling, mate. Can you see two worms? Is that the problem? Eh? Can you see two worms? Is that the problem? Yeah. I thought you'd been used to handling little worms. <laughs> you know what? They are bloody little, to be honest with you, these are. Compared to what the usual are. <coughs> Normally you stroke it a few times and it goes all like straight rigid, doesn't it? I did, I did tell you this might take a while.
by the way it's not advertising it's just my beer any orange, I can see pink. Mm. You've had pink beer with orange, haven't you? Yeah. Well, mate, look at that. Yeah, make sure you go that way a bit. That's where the bubble is. Or you just keep there instead. Right. I just wanted to show you that gorgeous sunset. It's just starting to fade a bit now, but I'll leave you with it there. Well, good morning all. Those you watching. And you'll guess by the lack of footage during the night that uh, Sadeline Nobody had anything. No bites, no bleeps. Well, I had the bleep a couple of times during the night. But and the same for Mark and Roger. They've not had anything either. So, yeah, quite a night. But uh, it's a nice morning, albeit beautiful blue, clear skies, which is probably not the best for fishing. But, uh, yeah. So not a lot to report. A few a bit of fish and a few bubbling, there's goldfish about I think, but not a lot. No signs of anything showing, no, no fish showing, no top of the road to be fair. I didn't get up as early as I planned to. I was a bit knackered, I didn't get up till about seven o'clock. I think the two lads walked before me, but they didn't see anything this morning. So I think it'll be a case to leave the, the rods in till probably 10 or 11 o'clock and then I'll probably drag them in and have a look at the bait see what is, leave them in for a bit. Perhaps bait up and then I might uh, walk around the lake and check out what's, uh, what the rest of the lake's like because I've not seen the old lake yet. Uh, first thing is going to be uh, a brew and a bacon butty. So that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens for the rest of the day. But, uh, like I said before, it's a new venue, so we didn't know what to expect. It's quite shallow where we're fishing. So it's got a bit dark, isn't it? Got the sun a bit. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I shan't waffle on about nothing. I'll leave it here and uh, if I go for a walk around the lake later or anything happens, you'll be the first to know, obviously. Oh, Whew. Uh, it's about quarter to two now. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's bloody warm. Not warm than I was expecting it to be today. today. The sun's out, you've got clear blue skies, not the best of fishing conditions. Uh, I don't know if you notice, probably the eagle eyed angler amongst you. I notice I've moved swims. I've literally just got all three rods back out. Two on PVA bags and one on a, a multi rig. Uh, didn't do any good on the last swim. 
zoom on, zoom in where I was fishing. Let me just straighten this up if we can. I think that's Roger there. Oh, the boat has. There he is. Keep that going. That's the swim I was fishing in. I see. No sign to have it. See any fish or any sound close by or in Caston Reach. Never had a bite, no nibble, no sniff, nothing. And then. They bark. Hiding away is better. He's always hiding away, so he's always hiding away, so get the camera out. But yeah. Uh, so that's where we're at. Here's the swim. Oh yeah. Now, as soon as it's time for a walk, we had a walk around the lake. Sorry about that. We just had a walk around the lake, see what we could find, see what was what. And uh, I took the deeper chirp I have. Sonar. And I cast around this end, this is pretty much the only area where I found any fish and I found quite a few fish with gone for sonar. No few fish that find anywhere else in any other spot, so I had a choice to make to stay where I was or have a move. Now normally I'd be too lazy to move and it is quite a big hassle to be fair. But I thought no. I want to try and, if I can try and catch a fish for the camera, it'd be nice. Just try and catch a fish anyway, it'd be nice. Um, so yeah, so I know there's fish in the area. I know there's fish in the swim and fish fish in there. Not weed in it, very weedy swim, but I've found some clearish spots from where the fish are. Um, just had a beep. Probably the wind, I think. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to be banging loads of bait out because the fish are here, so I don't need to attract them. The fish are here by their own accord anyway. So I think it'll be a case of just uh, putting the PVA bags out and leave it at that. And, uh, I've got a, a pop-up as well. I'll put a little PVA nugget of goodness on the hook of that just to get a little bit of attraction. But I think that's as far as I'm going to go. I think I'm going to. The big baiting all the spobbing out, that didn't work for me earlier. So I don't see the point in repeating the same mistake. Like I say, if the fish are already in the swim, is this whether I can get them to feed or not? If, uh, if I do manage to get one, I'd expect it to probably be sort of five, four, five, six o'clock time when they start to have a bit of a munch I think and I have seen fish showing this area early from my old swim I could see the fish topping here, rolling, not many, the odd one so we'll see, yeah, we'll see what happens we'll see if the moved and all the hard work it took to do it it is a plaza and a pain in the ass but yeah, we'll see if it pays off if it does, you'll be the first to know <laughs> Yeah, four quid. Oh, we're filming. We're filming this stuff. It's bloody expensive, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, Rog, how are you getting on? Not very good, Trev. It's been a bit of a bad day today, mate. It's been a bit slow, hasn't it? Very slow. Mark's not going to catch out on his swim speed if he's chucking it up the tree, is he? No, he's <laughs> not. <laughs> Probably gone back to sleep as well, I don't know. I think he spends most of his time asleep, to be fair. It's just when, he got, when he's got that brolly up. Yeah. <coughs> he's always asleep. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not on the way, though. Where's the way? <laughs> so, <coughs> what, what time is it now? Time? It is exactly. 25 past four. 25 past four. Yep. So it's plenty of time yet. Plenty of time. There is. Got this evening tonight. Tomorrow morning. Probably 
can't keep blanking her arse off. <laughs> I think, I mean, if we blank today, how many times is that going to be? No, don't say that. <laughs> We've had a few blanks. But there again, we're always big fish fishing, aren't we? We never go for those little ones. It's easy just to go somewhere and catch them, but that's, that's too easy. That's not what we do, is it? <laughs> I think that 20 pound is going to elude me this year, mate. Oh, plenty of time yet. Yeah. I'll tell you, we'll go woodland, woodland waters again. Yeah. Get one there. Which we set up for us from Bobley. We get one. Yeah. So, what do you think to this place? Eh? Hey? What do you think to this place? Well, so far, I'm not. I can't really say. It's the first, it's the first time we've fished it, it? Yeah. We're going to give it another go anyway, to see how it yeah. goes. But it, there's a venue, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. What about you? Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah, I Especially do. Especially the bat. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a uh, close second to Hollywell, don't you? Yeah. Not, no, not Hollywell. Uh, yeah, Hollywell, yeah. Hollywell. Hollywell, 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 yeah. Hollywell, Hollywell yeah. Hollywell, yeah. yeah. One's a good for it. Yeah, it's not all came, is it? Cool. That's what happened with a lot more money run off the water to stand. Yeah? Yeah. One chance the other. They've got their own territories, ain't they? Yeah. Unfortunately, Mark's lost two of them down there now, so. <laughs> Are they still there? I can see one. One, yeah. <laughs> Mark won't go in about it, it'll be a sleeper's thing. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I suppose to come again and get it a go. It'll be better when it's a bit more, the water level's up a bit. I would imagine most places will be. It's not been very good this year, has it, really? This has been crap yeah. this year, really. What, what people have done. Not we've done a lot, have we, this year? No. I'm a bit disappointed with the bloody dent in that, to be honest with you. Yeah, struggled there this yeah. year, didn't we? Having had a reasonable day the year before. Yeah. No, I thought, yeah, after last year, I thought we'd cracked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not that. Yeah. It's not it don't work that way. Does it? No, it don't work that way. Yeah. Well, you live and learn, though, don't you? Don't <laughs> you learn as much as you play, don't you? There's finding nice places to go, this is odd, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and if you do find a nice place to go, usually if it's not really busy, then it's because it's, it's tough fishing or not many fish in it. Yeah, usually. If you go anywhere nice or anywhere you've got a good chance of catching, then it's always bloody land. Yeah. But having said that, I think we're going to have to go to a few busier places and catch a few fish if we want to get a few. Yeah, Nice, you know, I've been eating every day, don't have a couple of days or a couple of days for it. Yeah. Yeah. And if I don't catch those, I'm going to have Trevor and I'll pack it up. <laughs> <laughs> you like doing that? Yeah. It's a bit like being out, isn't it? You know, especially when you somebody else as well, you know, yeah. having a laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, catch out. Not for his sake. <laughs> I'll tell a different one, I'll see her. I'll go to watch the video. Well, I mean, can't, can't tell her I blanked again. <laughs> Where are you bother going? At least she asked you. Claire don't ask me. Don't she? Yeah, she don't care then. Yeah. <laughs> what you got for your supper tonight then? Tonight I've got some uh Oh you got pasta with you said? Yeah, stuffed pasta I don't know what you call it, but it's stuffed with some of the chorizo and some of the sauce in there. Oh, yeah. A nice sauce to go with it. Yeah? Yeah. Good yeah, work. Yeah, nice drink that. I've got some venison burgers to have tonight. Venison burgers, oh right. Try them, I've never had them before. Give it a lot. 
still a little silver fish just there. One in front of, one in front of where I am. Yeah? About four, three, rod, three or four rod lengths down. Just a flash. It's still there. You may have some burgers from the They do. They do. Yeah. I think it's a bit of salt. Yes, it's been to the middle. Pretty much the same stuff as the selling out at the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw them in there, I didn't, I didn't know whether to try because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't eat many you know, like burgers and stuff like that. No, yeah. I don't. Very rarely I have burgers, yeah. but I thought I'd just fancy them for a change. But they do some nice Aberdeen Angus burgers. Lovely, yeah. 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 I, like, I like them in the oven, put them in the oven and cook them those. Yeah. That way you don't get so much grease. Yeah. You can do them and fry them all. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Well. Like I say, all the things that's uh, bad for you, you like them, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, as a little update for you and a bit of chit chat. Um, I may entertain him probably, but. Yeah, I'm going to bugger off around there and have another cup of tea, I think. I don't blame you. I can have a cup of myself. Yeah. Treat yourself. Or a pot, noodle, a cup a pot noodle pot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. So, yeah, so I'll stop it there and hopefully next time I'll put the uh, video back on. It'll be me like this with a big fish. I don't think the chances are, Rod. Well, you yeah, think I might get one? I'll check that. I'll be happy with one like that. I'll check that, yeah. I'll check that. Yeah. Oh, he's not moved. Oh, he took his rolling down. Oh. Must have woke him up. <laughs> oh, Alright, I'll leave it there for now. Right, Mark's got a few friends in the swim. Excuse me. Goosey goosey ganders. As well as a couple of swans. But this they don't look like hanging about. Visit me in the night. That's when you know when you're trying to sleep, it's all them honking. Well, I've just had me venison burgers and very nice they were too. Enjoyed them. I think the time, I don't know what the time is. I think it's probably about four to six, ten to six, and all that. Nothing else has happened. And the beeps I've had on the rod is when the really birds have been through the lines. Imagine they probably pulled the rigs off the spots to a degree. They're not probably to weed them up so I have to be really catch them there. Which I'll probably do once I wash my pots up. Show the geese. Hope they're not turning around and coming back this way. I hope they'll just keep going to the far side. But I don't know where they're all going. Looks mm, like the swans have decided to follow them. Those little people are out there, don't they? Well, catch his leg then. Nice and soft. Thank you. Yeah. Well, three, two, one. Action. Hello, Rog. Hello, chaps. Hello, Rog. Look at that, chaps. How are you getting on, mate? Well, as you say, I'll just sit on this. Well, I'll sit on this. I'll sit on this. Oh, dear. You can see me. Come along.
Where are you going? Oh. Let's uh, just... Oh. Hey, uh, yeah, nothing, mate. Absolutely nothing. Oh, I thought it was in, I was sat in there doing it. I don't know what I was doing. I was sitting there doing it. I was sitting there doing it. You know, how you do. Yeah. Mm. So this is uh, the most recent cut. That then, that jetty. Yeah. Probably about 30 yards out. Come right up and down. Well, so I was just looking to it. Yeah. Stop and get lucky and see if it was bird. No bird come up. There's no one straight out in front of you. There's nothing wrong. It's about the same distance. Yeah. I've seen four, but. You ain't had any of them, is it? Yeah, no, no, nothing. So it's a bit nippy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's, well, you're already right shade there, aren't you? Yeah. Shellfish, yeah. rather. Shellfish. It, it is. Definitely tell the difference between the sun went down. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Even before, if you look at the window, you know, it's all right. You're a bit shelter, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Bring the camera a bit closer because the people won't be able to hear what we're saying now, which is probably. <sighs> Now come on Mark, that's not playing the game is it? <laughs> come on! <laughs> Don't spoil it! Hey, yes, well, you're, the only oh. ones, you're the only ones that are going to be watching it anyway. Are they? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> I don't think going to want to watch it. If you're not going to be a film star, Chad, we don't want to know. You're going to be famous. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're a nut then. Bloody <laughs> swans back. If you're a blink, mate, you know you don't you know you ain't gonna buy it. <sighs> yeah, I had to get a bloody I get a load of bloody wipes and clean my reel off you. Funny, you know, when it, and swan knocked it in the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. of course, yeah. yeah I'll carry the bloody water. It'll be alright, mate, it won't do any harm. Have you got your rods in still? Yeah, my rods. I bought mine out. Oh, so I just have to go back before we get started. So I can recap into another. Well, you can sun trail on your face, mate. You said that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got a little beacon, haven't I? Yeah. I've got to get one of these, mate. Well, I have, but I don't always wear it. <laughs> no. I put it on when the sun went down. <laughs> it's just a fine... I just get an order react sometimes. I haven't found one of them happy with, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm playing the arse on the same <laughs> Bill or Ben? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is always taking the piss when she sees me in the house. <laughs> She's got a flower pot back. <laughs> you got your thing on you, yeah? Mm? Stop you got your thing on you. So, <laughs> you're not, not going to it. Why? Well, Rods aren't in. I thought you said they were. <laughs> So what's the tactics for tonight and tomorrow morning? Can you sleep Can you sleep? Pack up in the morning. Yeah. You're going to get up early and have a move eh, and put a stint in somewhere else. Try and winkle one out. Well, I think the first job will be waking him up. I <laughs> <laughs> probably will if you're that hot this morning. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have slept in like that. Look at my ankle up with that camera. What's he getting what he needs next time? Just to bring some work. I'll get him up. Bring some worms? Yeah. <coughs> a bit more level. Just. Uh, read the news on my phone, but you can't see when we blast it off. You can do that. 
She's real. You can offer your rod to her. Probably. Mm -hmm. That's great, mate. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the uh, temperature's going to be like tonight. Yeah, have you not any idea? Have you looked? What, what? Temperature. Temperature. No, we haven't. You can have a look. Oop, I can smell my beer. You can do that, mate. You can do that, boy. Oh. <laughs> There's me looking for my phone. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <coughs> I thought you brought two. No, I do. Well, I don't go stop. Sometimes I do. I have to piss about in a couple of hours. So, what you got to say to all the nice people in YouTube land that are watching this? Might be many, to be fair. Don't call fishy with us. <laughs> Get you out. Yeah. How do you manage to keep that so cool, Mark? Hmm? How do you manage to manage to keep it cool? Just one of the times being there. Really? Just the one to know what. So I took with these chips, 48 hours, and they just fly by, don't they? Mm -hmm. Even 24 hours, that was just like set up and told us pack up, didn't it? Yeah. Whereas before, I used to go out for a day, a few hours, and it seemed like long enough, didn't it? Go just quit when you're at work. <laughs> so Monday. <laughs> Monday, yeah, when I'm not at work. Yeah. So many boys looked up to me. Yeah, I've had to stop the video now, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> stop it there next time you see anything hopefully we'll be in the middle of the night with one of us holding a big fish chances of that happening yeah right well it's uh, probably getting on for six o'clock in the morning it's probably yeah probably between quarter to six and six o'clock The light is just starting to come up at some time. Well, not the sun's coming up there, but it's just starting to get a bit lighter. Nothing in the night, unfortunately. Not heard anything from the lads, so I'm assuming they've not had anything. I'll make the effort 
get up early and have a look see what I can see but it's, it's still a bit dark frankly can't see anything nothing much in all this so yes that's where we are told to get the a lot I think get the kettle on make a broom another 15 20 minutes and it should be light enough to actually see a bit Probably show you again when it's a bit lighter. <laughs> you miserable bastard. So how'd you get on last night, Rod? Absolutely terrible, mate. Absolutely terrible. Uh, no bites and no sleep. And a couple of knocks. Well, you know, bleeps and that were it, basically. And absolutely no sleep whatsoever. Honestly. I feel absolutely knackered this morning. Oh dear. Stinking headaches. Uh, Mark said he had a, a run on his maggot rod, but didn't get out. Uh, he said he had, last night he said he had a nibble on one of his boilies, uh, whatever it was. Oh, well, the bloody swans. The lines. Yeah, I've got the camera out, he's buggered off to the toilet. <laughs> no, so, not a lot to report. Absolutely nothing, mate. I'll tell you what, I must remember the next time I come here to bring some bloody earplugs on it. It's Isn't that bad? I think it's absolutely horrendous, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Fit for me, you know. Nice place though, isn't it? Yeah. Nice place, there's no two ways about it. It's a bit warmer this morning as well, isn't it? Eh? Huh? It's a bit warmer this morning. Yeah, it's quite mild, isn't it? Not, not cold. Not, not a lot of wind, is there? I think it's shifted slightly down towards the opposite end. At the moment, Well, sort of in that opposite corner, isn't it? But, down that it's corner. In the morning, Trev. Shepherd's warning. Yeah. Or oh, angler's warning. <laughs> or somebody's warning. Yeah. 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 I won't be cooking anything for dinner, obviously, because we'll be going about 12. But yeah. So I'll probably leave it another bit of a late breakfast. Well, not, not late, but. I'll get a couple of hours yet and then put some of it on. Yeah. There he is. So Mark, how you here? <laughs> Trying to hide. Hello yeah. mate. Tell us about your aborted take last night. Aborted what? Aborted take. Oh no, I, th I think it was just a liner mate. A liner, look at the liner. Yeah, good point, probably. <laughs> That's the closest we've come to any action. Mm. Is that just over your bag? So I'm saying to Roger, we'll have to be leaving about 12. Yeah, going to be off for 12. Yeah, it? there's no rush, there's no rush to get off. Might as well make the most of the morning. Maybe pack up. Yeah. Maybe, uh, what's it, the dew dry off the busy first. Yeah, yeah, everything dry out. So everything's a bit wet. It's dry all over, mate. Really? Yeah. Not on the inside, it ain't. <laughs> A bit wet on the inside. You're a bit steamed up in your nightdress. Yeah, <laughs> all over <heavy> breathing. 
Mark, come out where I can see you. No, I'm all right here, thank you. It's too early for that. Dear, oh dear. So vain. You've got green makeup on yet, hey, Mark. Hey, you've got your makeup on yet. Oh, I'll leave it there. Catch you soon. Well, it's uh, about ten past ten, and uh, we've actually had a bit of action. About an hour ago. Uh, my right hand rod on a PVA bag after a few beeps, me thinking of weed or the wind on the line, blowing the weed on the line or something. It did actually go off and uh, I struck and I did actually hook into a fish. Played it briefly for a couple of minutes and then got it into the bank or close to the bank. And as I took a few steps back to grab the landing net, it came off. Believe it or not, so uh, we almost had a fish, but not quite. Um, I don't think it was anything massive. I think it was a small. It looked like a small mirror probably about eight pounds, something like that. And it, uh, uh, it wasn't uh, a big fish. It could have been a big tench, but I didn't see it properly to know for sure what it was. But yeah, it would have been nice to have landed a fish and just have something to show you. <laughs> but yeah. So it's all we up one and uh, it's come off at the net. Uh, that was last hour, it was about nine o'clock, it's just after ten now and probably got another hour. We got we got till twelve but whether I actually fish till twelve or not, I don't know. Probably probably fish most of that, so yeah. Probably an hour and a half fishing I suppose. I've uh, got a lot of kit ready to be packed in the car, I've just got to put my bivvy away and it won't take me too long to get it packed up and packed, uh, packed away. We've got to be off by 12 so... Yeah, that was on a PVA bag by the way, on a small pink pop-up. So yeah, gutted. Although it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't any sort of a special fish, it, just to get a bite and to have maybe have caught one would just have been just been really nice so but yeah sadly not to be uh, nothing to report on anyone else I have to say conditions just for future reference a lot better today it's been really bright clear skies the previous two days we've been here but today it's really cloudy and overcast and it looks well, looks a bit, bit more of a wind as well a bit more of a not a chop on the water, but certainly more of a breeze. And conditions certainly look a lot better. Um, and a lot better than what they have done, so... I'm, I'm optimistic that I might still be time for a, one last bite. Not beyond the realms of possibility, but uh, we'll have to see. But yeah, definitely better conditions today, but... Sadly, we're not here all day, only here till 12. Yeah, so... Uh, Nothing to report for the other two lads, they've not had anything. So, uh, yeah. So, next time you see me, it'll be with a fish or it'll be say, saying goodbye. And that'll be the end of the vlog. But we'll see. <coughs> there we go. So, that's it, that's the end of the vlog, that's the end of the session. We didn't catch any fish. Okay. I lost a wallet in there, but so it goes, unfortunately. But yeah, it's been alright, hasn't it? It's been alright, it's been alright. Right. Yeah. Mm. As always, good time. It. It's a nice place, definitely come again. I wasn't going to say anything about the name of the place, but it seems uh, if you've watched this long, you've suffered this much way, all the way through the video. I think it's only fair I'll tell you where we are. We're at a place called Rosewater, Rosewater Fishery. So. I know there's not many people going to watch this anyway, so I'm not letting any secrets out of the bag. Um, so yeah, uh, nice place, nice water, nice facility. But hard, and it was hard this last two days, three days we've been here. But, uh, there was a few more fish. A few more fish, a few yeah. More fish. yeah. Um, so we enjoyed it, we'll be back again with the rod? Yeah, yeah. Apart yeah. from the fish. Yeah. 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 Perfect.
Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, I don't know where we'll be in the next vlog, but uh, I'm sure we'll all be together fishing somewhere and blanking. It's all about the camping. It's all about the camping, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we'll leave it there. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.